What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our premiere. This is Caleb Roth from thebookflipper.com. My business partner, Matthew, is sitting right here. He's What's up, guys? He's a little camera shy. I don't think he showered today, so he's sitting over here. If y'all have questions, we're going to be both on live on the chat. Feel free to comment. Smash that like button, as Steve Rakin says. Shout out to Rakin Profit. And we've got something cool to show you. So we're going to jump right in. We've got a couple things that we changed on our app. We want to show you what that's up to. Uh, it involves Amazon's new terms of service for third-party app developers or vendors, which is us. We're not allowed to promote companies that vend or sell Amazon data. That means Keepa. So many of you know Keepa started charging for their data, which they should have a long time ago in my opinion, but they are now charging for it. I think it's because Camel 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 had some server issues, and so Keepa was for a little while the only game in town, and they decided we should make some money, which I don't blame them. However, Amazon doesn't like it. They don't like the fact that they're selling all the historical data and uh, Amazon's trying to push back by leaning on third-party developers like us saying, we can't feature Keepa directly in our app. So on the Scout page for Scout IQ now, you'll notice where we used to have a lovely Keepa icon, we've got a custom link icon. So you guys have seen this in a couple other apps. Inventory Lab has done something similar. It, we've added custom links and this has opened up some pretty cool uh, backdoor stuff. So let me close that real quick. Um, lots of cool stuff to show you, so let's jump in. Many of you have been asking, I know I sound like an Instagram guru when I say that, you know, many of you have been asking when none of you have been asking, but actually you have. So I speak the truth here. Um, so let me show you what the custom links are how to do a Keepa custom link. For those of you that still wanna bring in Keepa data, you can do it. We just can't feature it front and center. And then a really cool back door that Matthew and I sorted out today. Let me show you what we're cooking up. So if you go back to your Scout IQ settings, scroll down, you've got a new section here called custom link. And what this is, is we've got a couple of preset links. So you can look at eBay completed listings to see what something is sold for. This is particularly useful if you've got items like uh, that don't have a lot of Amazon data or maybe the price is just silly high. So you could look on eBay. You could look at eBay Active if you're doing some arbitrage and you found an item and you want to see if you can also buy other items online and, and maybe resell those as well. Book Finder is probably the most useful of these. It'll actually bring up lots of websites all together and you can actually see um, eBay, Alibris, well, it used to be half.com, rest in peace, that's gone. Uh, Abe books, et cetera. You can bring all of that data in together if you want to see what the book is selling for on other marketplaces. And then add all does something very similar. And then custom. So let me, I'll show you Book Finder just to show you what it's doing. So let's go back. So you just set whatever you want. Go back to your scout screen. I've already scanned a book. Start with why. We're going to click this custom link. It's going to load Book Finder in this case. Here we go going to search all the different marketplaces and uh, it's kind of unique. You can zoom in on the browser here. We've got all the new books over here on the left and you can see the cheapest prices including shipping and where they come from. So Barnes and Noble, A Books, Blackwell from the UK, etc. So new, this book is 18 bucks. You can even see Amazon prices right down here, 20 bucks. And then we've got used. Looks like it's the cheapest on uh, eBay, which is cool. So six bucks including shipping. You can click those links and see them. And then Amazon, it's seven seventy three. We're gonna get an ad. I will. I will bounce out. If you guys ever need to mirror your screen, Visor V Y S O R is pretty cool. That's what I'm using here today. No more ads. Cool. So that's what the custom link does. If you want to just see eBay, for example, you can change that link. What I want to show you today is custom links. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Um, if you guys want it, I won't show you right now. If you guys want the Keepa link, I'll show you how to do that. You can click down below. We'll have a link or we'll post that in the Premiere Notes off to the right. Basically how this works is you can add any link you want into this. So ideally custom paste so you don't miss, mess something up. Anywhere you want the ASIN or the ISBN to, sh to be injected into the code, go ahead and put a, a ha you know three hashtags, three pound signs, number signs, whatever we called them before Instagram. So put those in place of the ISBN in the link and off you go. So for example, if you wanted to use Keepa, let me just show you real quick. You would go to Keepa or any other website you want to be researching. You would search for an ISBN. It's kind of the go-to one I use. And boom, here it is. Up here, what you're going to do is grab the entire link. So you're going to copy that. I wish we could paste this right into Visor. Maybe we can. 
Whoa, look at that. Okay, so we can actually paste right into the app or you can email that to yourself, uh, Slack or something else. That's pretty cool. Um, and instead of this 10 digit code, we're gonna show three pound signs just like that. Tap anywhere, go back. And if we wanna see Keepa data now, we click custom link, wait for Keepa to load and almost presto. You do need to be logged into Keepa. You can see I am, there's my third grade email address, Jukebox Caleb, and we're in. So if you guys don't pay for Keepa, you can still see this. You just won't see the green sales rank line. If you do pay for Keepa, you can. You can also set the custom uh, time frame here. I've got it set to a year. I like to see both textbook seasons in there. If you wanna just see six months, you can actually change that in your Keepa settings. It's pretty cool. If you don't wanna see how many items have been listed down below right here, you can uh, drop that as well. So that's the custom link. Let me show you, many of you have been asking, again, true story, have been asking to have a buy list. And so we're gonna show you how to add a buy list using the custom link, ready? So we're gonna go to our browser, we'll have links down below, but we got a nice bit.ly link, so bit.ly slash, or as Matthew says, forward slash. You guys all know what slashes are, but bit.ly forward slash scout IQ hyphen by hyphen list, just like that. Give you a second to copy that down, boom. What this is is a custom Google form that Matthew and I spent at least 17 minutes building. It's beautiful. You're gonna say make a copy. If you don't have Google Drive, I think it'll make you log in, but Google's awesome. Um, so what we've done is we've got a bunch of questions here. For those of you who want to have your scouts, again, this will only work if they have full mode where they're seeing the prices, because otherwise you don't get these links. We may change that depending on what your feedback is. So let us know what you like, or if you like this, don't like it, etc. What you can do is we are going to build this out where uh, you can delete any of these that you want. So if you had scouts and you want to see what books they're scouting, you could delete all these questions. So click on a question, hit delete, etc. Work your way down, delete all of these questions out. You could just keep the ASIN. If you wanted to keep ASIN and what their buy cost is so you can know how to reimburse them, you could leave buy cost as well. Kill everything else if you don't want it. If you want to leave the source and have them type it in, cool, that's awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to leave this alone, but if you want to edit it, do that first. Once you've done it, go ahead and click responses, click this green create spreadsheet button, and we're going to create a spreadsheet. You can leave it as copy of or just call it whatever you want. This is going to create it in your Google Drive. So we're gonna create this and then one more step. So this will just be a, a Google Drive folder and everything that we add to this custom list will actually come right into here. So hold tight. What we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the questions alone, come up to the three dots in the corner and say, get pre-filled link. What this is gonna do, go ahead and type any, any digits you want, just do 10 zeros. If you want to have list price, so for those of you that list everything at $200, you can go ahead and drop that in. I'm going to leave that blank. If you want to have sources, you could also have changed this to drop down sources. If you want, you can get fancy, but again, do that before you create the link. I'm going to preset quantity to one. You can always click off of that or change it, but I'm just going to preset some things. Most of our books are good, so I'm going to preset that here. For those of you that like detailed condition notes, those are here. We've got markings, none, light, moderate, heavy, or textbook, which basically just says textbook stickers and markings. Media, you can leave any of these blank if you want, or you can say no, or yes, it has the CD or DVD. And then library book, again, you can leave blank. It won't hurt it. If it is a library book, you can, you can do that. We're gonna say get link. We're gonna copy this link, go to a new tab. And what we're gonna do is look for the 10 zeros that's our ISBN, so we're gonna change that to our magical three hashtags. We're gonna copy this. Again, you could email it to yourself and then copy, paste it, and put it into the app. I guess it uh, maxed out the memory on my poor computer. So we're gonna grab this. Once Slack fires up, go to Matthew Partnership. We're gonna grab that. There we go. There's our link. I'm gonna come over to my phone now. We'll go ahead and delete this since we don't need it. Sorry, I got all excited about Visor Pro letting me paste in, and it failed me. So, Hold tight, we'll show you exactly how to do it. You can just email this to yourself as well. I'm just, I have Slack because that's what uh, everybody uses. We're gonna copy that to our clipboard, come into our custom link and simply paste it. All right, so now we go back to Scout. We have the same book up, Four Disciplines of Execution. 
click custom link, and here we go. So you'll notice it pre-fills the ASIN right into it. If you guys had a pre-filled list price, it would be there. We said 885, so we can type that in. By cost, if you bought it, you could put a buck or whatever it was. If you wanted to put a source, you can do that. You can also leave it blank. Quantity is one. Condition good, no markings, leave the rest of it alone. Make sure you click submit, and as soon as we do this, magically, through the power of Google and the cloud, it is going to show up in our conditions response. So here we go. So we're adding our buy list. For those of you that delete out the conditions, you don't care about that, you can simply get a timestamp and the ASIN, which is really cool. You can see what they're doing, maybe a buy cost if you want to reimburse them. Hit close, go to the next book. So while you're out scouting, if it's not a competitive situation, like a library sale, you could be in here and uh, add all these to your list. Let me look at the price real quick. So it's saying 815 again. Let's just say we want 815. So list price, 815. Buy cost, let's say was 50 cents. There we go. Source. Once you set the source the first time, you can leave it blank and I'll, the spreadsheet will actually accommodate. So for those of you in a hurry, you can leave the condition. Let's say light markings. Make sure you come all the way to the bottom, click submit. There it goes, boom, into our sheet. And we can work our way through. Let's do one more. If you guys are looking for a good book, I highly recommend Win by Daniel Pink. Phenomenal. And again, Scout IQ is telling us $12.50. So we're going to come in here, list price, $12.50. Buy cost, let's say it's a buck. Again, source is the same condition. Let's say very good, no markings, and done. Okay, I'm going to swap and stop showing my phone because my computer battery is dying and I am using that for this. So can you plug that into the charger? Got a very sad message from Visor saying it died. All right, so what we're going to do now is you have all this data. Again, several of you have been asking for a buy list or a tracking spreadsheet, listing spreadsheet in Google, and we made one. So I'll go ahead and extend this out. So this is the listing spreadsheet. It looks a little funky, and I'll show you why in a second. But you've got your source. You can add a date code. This is essentially building your SKU. You can add cost of items. So for those of you who don't want to use the buy list or just want to manually enter, We'll have a link down below. You can actually have the listing spreadsheet in Google Drive. Side note, sad note, the tracking spreadsheet does not work in Google Drive because it uses macros and Google is not powerful enough yet. So come on, Google, get your act together. So this is the listing spreadsheet and we'll have other videos. I'm not going to do an entire tutorial on the listing spreadsheet at this moment, but we'll have that. Uh, we'll, we'll make another video for the Google Sheet. Basically, you add all your inputs here. You're going to use the inventory loader form. You're going to upload this to Amazon, upload the shipping plan. You can have whatever, you know, fake address or hopefully a real address. And then you can actually export all the data back into the tracking spreadsheet. So that's the way we built it. Let me delete that out. What we've done though, we added one more form. This is the Google form data. So for those of you that want to try to, to get some data from the app directly into Amazon, you can grab all of this. Matthew didn't know this existed. so. There you go. He's, he's got eyeballs as big as saucers over here. So grab the top corner. We're going to do Command C or you can right click and just say copy for those of you that don't use keyboard shortcuts. We're going to go back over to our lists. We're going to grab everything here and then we can simply paste. So now what this is doing is it pulls in all the ASINs that we just did. It's got all of our list prices, our buy cost, our source. You can copy this down if you want, but the spreadsheet, if I built it right, should work on the next tab. So hang on. Got our conditions, markings, again, if you need to edit anything. Just a word of caution, once you've put it here, don't delete rows, don't delete columns. You're gonna screw up everything else in the spreadsheet. So if you do need to make edits, do it from your buy list. So if we need to change the quantity to two or delete something, you can go ahead and do that. So delete stuff from there if you need to do it and then recopy everything from here over to here. Okay, so never edit anything on this sheet, edit it elsewhere. And once again, once you're done with the buy list here, don't delete the headers, but delete all the data out. So just simply hit delete or backspace on it. And this will be ready for the next time you wanna use the buy list and you won't have to change that custom link ever again. Cool? All right, so this is now reset up for the app to work again. We're gonna take our buy list here and this will actually feed into the listing spreadsheet. This is cool because we're on uh, Google Drive with us or Google Sheets. 
we can actually pull in data from Keepa. So again, if you don't have a Keepa subscription, the green lines will not show up, but you can still see the rest of the data. And um, it's actually pulling in our ISBNs or ASINs from the previous tab. If you do need to change the date code, you can change that up here. We'll have another tutorial on how to use this sheet. But what you're going to do is you can add the rank, so 11,000, you can use K or M330, so you can just round down, doesn't really matter, and 27K. If you want this to feed into the tracking spreadsheet, it will. Uh, again, this is pulling everything we've done with our uh, conditions. It's going to build, so unmarked copy, it's going to build a nice description for those of you who care. If you don't and you just use good and none of this, it'll just use your generic descriptions that you've plugged in back here. So this will just be our book descriptions. This is like CD descriptions if you want to use that. But if you, if you want to use something else, you can by all means use that. And if you want to add other shortcuts down here for light markings or whatever else, you can do that. So for those of you who want custom, there's other videos down below. We'll get into that later. But this is a really cool way. If you saw textbook seasonality as well, you could say that it's a textbook. It'll bake that into your SKU for those of you who use reprice it or want to price these differently. That's going to put you in a great spot. So that's how to use a buy list. So there's, there's two real cool ways that we thought to use it. If you guys think of other ones, comment as well. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll answer because we're on here live. Um, and if you didn't catch us live, comment below. We'll catch you later as well because we love y'all. So uh, two key thoughts. One, if you have a scout team and you want to pay them based on what they're scouting, you could delete the rest of these fields, simply leave ASIN, buy costs, and then you're going to come over here and make a new sheet. Okay, So you could do that. And uh, what you're going to do then af after you make that new sheet is do the custom link again. Make sure you swap out the ASIN for three hashtags, pound signs, number signs, whatever you call them, and uh, paste that into the custom links within Scout IQ. So we'll have a little tutorial on how to walk you through it. If I went too fast, I know I talk quickly. So if you have scouts, you could see what they scouted, what day they scouted, because you'll get a timestamp on this sheet as well. And then you could simply have the buy cost and know what to reimburse them. So that'd be really cool for those of you who have scouts. For those of you who want to try and list from the app, you could use the, the sheet exactly the way it is. Again, don't forget to come in and build that pre-filled link and make sure you're using the hashtags for the ASIN. That way our app can feed it properly. If you do that, you could actually, essentially, for those of you who use the listing spreadsheet, you could swap out and use this listing spreadsheet, which we'll share through Google Drive. And you could actually list everything you want directly into Amazon from here. A couple side notes, sad notes, you can't use Dymo with that. I think there's some Chrome extensions, but for those of you who are used to Accelerlist, we're going to be trying to add a bulk upload feature, maybe by the end of the year, trying to work with Travis there. Don't hold me to that. You can hold him to that, though. Um, and you could actually take your buy list and upload it directly to Acceler list. Inventory Lab may have an option for that as well. So we're trying to be flexible. And again, if you guys like this, this is a really cool backdoor or workarounds. If you really like it, let us know, comments, and uh, we can either improve the form and or just do some custom development to get that for you. But for those of you who want a buy list, we listened. We found a really cool way to do that. I hope you like this. I hope it works for you. If you guys have really cool success stories with it, let us know. We'd love to uh, love to interview you, get your story, have a little feedback. Shout us out on Instagram. And again, if you guys aren't using Scout IQ, check us out, scoutiq.co. And as always, if you have any questions, email Matthew. Always. Always. I'm out golfing. I'd like to say all the time, but I'm busy working. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram at the book flipper <laughs> and I'll get right back to you. That'll work. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We love you. Comment below, smash the like button, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff. Leave us a review, App Store, Google Store. Five stars is awesome. And uh, yeah, that's all we got. I'm just going to yeah. sign off. So thanks, guys.